Whether you have a strict NAT or moderate NAT, in Call of Duty Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2, I will show you how to change that to open NAT type. Step 1. Internet connection. Suppose you are using any kind of house connection like ADSL, VDSL, fiber, dedicated wireless network. In that case, you can quickly get open NAT type in Call of Duty. But if you are using a 4G or 5G mobile connection, I'm afraid you can only get moderate NAT type and not open. I will show you how to do it all. Step 2. Moderate NAT. Suppose you are using a house connection. First of all, in that case, you must ensure that you have a NAT type 2 or moderate in your gaming console and Call of Duty network information settings. Because sometimes some ISPs make your NAT type strict by default from their side. No matter what you do, you cannot get open NAT type as long as they don't change it. If your house fiber, ADSL or VDSL connection has a strict NAT type, first call your ISP. ISP is the company that provides internet to you. Ask them to change your NAT type to moderate or two. If they said it's okay from their side and you have to change your router settings, then you can follow the next step with me. Sometimes some sneaky ISPs ask you to pay them for NAT type 2. For example, the one I use said you have to pay $1 per month, then we give you a static IP address and open NAT type. Consider this as well because not all ISPs are kind. That's about business. Step 3. Console or PC IP address. In this step, you have to find the IP address that your console or PC is using to connect to your router. When you connect with LAN, you may have different IP than when you connect with Wi-Fi. So make sure to keep your console or PC connected the same way. On PS5, for example, by going to network settings and viewing connection status, you can find your IP address. The same for PS4, Xbox, and other consoles. On PC Windows 11, you can press Windows plus I to open settings. In network and internet, check the adapter that is your internet connection. Mine is this one. Open properties and you can find the IPv4 address here. By the way, sometimes when you connect to your router after a while, it may change your IP address, so whatever we do later may stop working. In case to prevent that from happening, you must set up a static IP address on your device. I will show you how I do this on PS5, but you can search in Google how to set up static IP address for Xbox, for example, and set it up so this IP will never change. On PS5, if you press options and go to the advanced settings, you can change the IP address to manual. In the IPv4 address, enter the same IP you saw before in the settings, the subnet mask is usually 255.255.255.0 for any console. In default gateway, enter your IP address as before and only change the last number to 1. As you see, it's the same as the IP address, only the last digit is changed to 1. For primary and secondary DNS, you can use Google DNS, OpenDNS, and Cloudflare. These numbers that you see here also work. If you don't want to change DNS, you can quickly enter the same gateway address as the primary DNS. It will use your internet DNS and not custom. This information is the same on PS4, Xbox, and other consoles. On Windows PC, in network settings, as we were before, properties, you can edit IP, change it to manual, IPv4 and do the same thing as I showed you for PS5. There is only one option that is different here, DNS over HTTPS, keep it off, it's that simple. Alternate DNS is also secondary DNS. If you are in an older Windows OS, press Windows plus R to open run and search for ncpa.cpl. This will show you all network adapters, double click on your primary connection and properties and double click on internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Here you have these options again to manually enter the IP address and DNS. See, this isn't hard at all. Still, if you are lost, you you can search on Google how to set up a static IP address in PS4, Xbox, or Windows 7 for example. There are a lot of tutorials for that. Step 4. Router settings. Once you have your console or PC IP address, you need to set up router settings to get the open NAT type on your game. Depending on your router model, there are a few ways to enter the settings. The easiest way is to check your router behind it or labels. As you see, most routers have this info behind them an IP address for the settings, a username, and a password. If you don't see any of this info, don't worry. Find your router name and model, go to Google, and search like this. For example, TP-Link ADSL2 Plus Settings IP. 
and then you'll find it here. It's usually 192, 168, 11, with dots between them for many routers. Here are a few more numbers that you may find for dealing Huawei and other kinds of routers. While connected to your router, open your browser and enter the IP address in your address bar. It will take you to the router settings page. You need a username and password. It's usually admin admin in lowercase by default. For some routers, for example, this one that I have, it had a specific username and password. If the default didn't work, you can search for your router model and then put settings, username and password. You'll find it on Google. If you have changed your router password before and you don't remember it, the only way is to reset your router and set up your internet connection all over again. If you are not an expert, I don't recommend doing this. When you enter your router settings, there will be some settings and sections. Each router has a different look, skin, and user interface. As you see, I have a few routers and they all look different. Don't worry about this, as you will be looking only for two options. I will explain them in the next step. Step 5. Router DMZ settings. DMZ is a function that allows your device to bypass all NAT settings and connect directly without any limitation to the internet. It will not only open NAT type for Call of Duty but also for any other online game. The fact is this is the easiest way to get open NAT type on your console. Depending on your router model, DMZ settings might be in the port forwarding section, advanced settings, port management or special application settings. As you see, in each of these routers I have, this setting is in a different place and with a different name. The easiest way to find it again is to search in Google, for example, tp model number DMZ settings. There will be guides that show you how to find DMZ settings in your router or you can check in your router user guide. Once you find this option, you can enter your console like PlayStation, Xbox or PC IP address and apply so it will open the NAT type for that specific device. Sometimes you may need to restart your router to make these settings work. You must enter that here again if you ever change your IP address. Consider you can only add one device to DMZ in each router, not more. If you have two consoles for any reason or a PC and a gaming console, you can only enter one of them here. But how do I get open NAT type for other devices as well? There is another way called port forwarding. This will allow you to open ports for a specific device to get an open NAT type. And here we go to the next step, router port forwarding. So if you have more than one console or PC and want to get open NAT type in all of them, after DMZ, you need to enter the second device in port forwarding. As well as DMZ, port forwarding might have different names or be in different locations in your router. You can search in Google, for example, TP-Link ADSL2 Plus port forwarding settings guide. As you see, in these routers, I have every single one has a different look and name. I'll show you how I do this in this old TP-Link router. You can do the same for other routers as well. All you need is to find port forwarding settings. So in this modem and router, first I need to check the status to see which PVC is connected and activated. It's an ADSL router, by the way. It's PVC2. Then I need to go to advanced setup. NAT options, select PVC2 in virtual circuit and now I can see DMZ, virtual server and more. This virtual server is port forwarding in my TP-Link router. I can add up to 12 rows and give them different ports. I already did it for my console but I will show you how it has to be done. To open NAT type for every console, these ports must be open in your router for Call of Duty Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Depending on which console you are using, remember these ports. Then in your router port forwarding, port management or virtual server settings, give it a name and select protocol. Some ports are TCP, UDP or both, so you can select them in your router. Mine has an option for all. Start port number and port number. If there is a single number, both will be the same. If not, and there are more like dashes in ports as you see here, enter the first one in a start, the last one in the end will open all ports in between as well. In the local IP address, you enter your device IP, for example, your PC or PlayStation IP address. You have to add all the ports for your console. As you see in this other router, the interface is different, but the function is the same. I can even add multiple ports at once. It depends on your router model, so don't swear at me in the comments why my router doesn't look the same as yours. 
I'm trying to teach you how to derive instead of being your driver. Once you enter all ports with your device IP, restart your router and it has to apply to your console IP address. Step 7. Test in game. I did it for my PS5. As you can see in my network settings, I have NAT type 2, not NAT type 1. Still, when I go to network info in Call of Duty, you can see it shows NAT type open because all of the ports that the game needs and uses for connection are now open. If you are wondering which method I used, it's with DMZ settings. And if you want to know how to get NAT type 1 on your PS5 or other consoles, I mean in the settings and not the game you can watch these videos from the cards above and the links are also in the comments as well step 8 how to fix a strict nat type 3 with vpn if you are using a 4g or 5g mobile connection you may have nat type strict and usually there is no way to change that or maybe your isp can't give you open nat type or nat type moderate even though that you have a house connection is there any way to change your NAT type to moderate at this? Yes, by using and sharing a VPN from your PC, laptop, phone, or even directly on your router, you can get moderate NAT and fix NAT type 3. To learn how to do that, check this playlist from the card above or the links in the comments. VPNs like Express, Nord, and Speedify will give you moderate NAT type after using them for your console. How to use a VPN for Call of Duty If you like to use a VPN for Call of Duty to change the game server, get bot lobbies, etc. Check this playlist next where I showed you different methods to use VPN on your gaming console. And check this video next for the best controller and console settings in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. I'll catch you there.